hello and welcome everyone welcome to my youtube channel and here i'm covering the basic intermediate and advanced javascript let's uh, go forward to the next video and in this video we are going to talk about objects capital o object function right if you do a type of what it is it is a function correct so we will see the basic part of the function in the basic javascript training then we will cover a few things in the advance if you just uh, see the capital o object then you will get this is a function right if you do a type of then also you will get a function okay so uh, let's let's talk about the basics of the function how we create a function and uh, how we are getting it so how we can uh, get a function so let's uh, obj and let's call this object function what it is going to give you let's uh, try to do console.dir onto this object which we got from calling the object I did something wrong yeah so we are actually getting uh, the object of a javascript function from here that's why it's an empty object having only proto and the constructor of this object is pointing to the function object right you can see it now what are the different ways of uh, creating the object so whatever we did here if you do the type of object it is an object right because we got it from the object function right uh, so let's uh, or a equal to and pass the null so what will happen in this case we are passing null to the object function to create an object and what a is a is again an object with a null property right similarly you can create an object with undefined for simple string argument like so what you are creating you are creating a string argument uh, let's do console.dir a so you are creating a string object which is having all these key value pairs so it has converted this hello string into the string key value pairs and the uh, the length of this object is 5 string object right so this, this is how we can play around with the object uh, similarly you can pass the array of values so what will happen in this case it will create an array of uh, three parameters so whatever the output depends on what you are passing so object function is a native function when you are passing string then it is giving you the string object when you are passing array then it is giving you the array object right so, uh, so similar example like uh, we can pass some object here so in this case it is returning object with the value of x50 right it has inherited that all these properties now let's let's take a look on to the object function prototype methods which are inbuilt dot so you can see we have the constructor function has on property property enumerable all these methods are there in the object prototype similarly proto define getter define setter all these right so has on property you can use to check if this particular object is having that property or not so it's a property name right so it's a false similarly if you are passing something else then it will also again will be false right so uh, now let's take a look on how we are creating the object in javascript generally because we are not using object function to create an object right we are using simple plain and simple code like something like this to create an object now 
if you do type of x which is an object and console.dir x what you will get it's an object and its proto is pointing to the object function right so we did in the same way uh, it again it's pointing to the object function because this is another way of writing the creating the object now uh, let's do one more thing instead of this call the object function right and x so it is again point uh, against the doing the same thing constructor is pointing to the object function now on the same let's do the new object you have seen the syntax right or x equal to new object now what is it is pointing it is again an object and its proto is pointing to the function object and it is having all these methods right so this time you actually called the new object new keyword i mean the constructor function of the object and you have created an empty object so either you create the object like this either you create the object like this both all of them are the same same object is being created by all of them so if we do the comparison so let's call it as a a okay let's call it as a b okay and uh, with the new object we have done let's call it as a c so we have created a three object right so a dot proto so we can compare if the protos are equal that means they are pointing to the same object that is true that is amazing right that is also true see with the b proto that is that will also be a true so all are representing to the the same object right so there are three different ways of creating an object which we have seen or a equal to this is an empty object okay sorry for that then we can create an object like uh, using the new keyword or same you can create using simple by calling the object function right what are the step permutations of creating the object there will be one more which you have heard of object dot create is explicit method in the object function which you can use okay so that's it about the objects in the next video we'll talk little more about the objects